Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be loading up the trailer. We're actually not loading up, but attaching the truck to it. But before I can do that, before I can do that, I have to get rid of all this hay. When I brought the round bale yesterday and I cut the string off of it, it kind of, you know, falls apart sometimes. Well, it fell apart and I have a whole row of hay that I need to get rid of. Some of it I put in the round bale feed feeder over there for the horses, but this stuff I'm just going to take to the goat barn. Give it to the goats. I'm sure they'll like it. See, here's the, the netting that was on that. I guess they make it out of, like, plastic. You'd think that with technology they would make it, like, um, you can buy shorts that dissolve in water. Why can't you make, like, a net that dissolves in water? Obviously, you'd have to cover up the hay bales. At least you... You know, the horses could probably eat it. <laughs> this stuff they can't eat, so. And that's just a big waste of plastic. I don't even know where it goes. I don't even think it gets recycled. You can't even recycle this stuff. So, anyways, there's the hay net and there's a, the hay that has to get to the goat barn. That's some nice green hay there. The goats are gonna love it. They're always eating from the round bale, so they should love that stuff. Everyone's coming to see the hay I brought. i give you some more hay. Give you some more hay. <laughs> there you go, your hay Dave. He's all filled up. Are you gonna like it now? You gonna like your hay? Oh, look at that. It's already digging into it. Yummy. Even the pig's a little bit excited about hay, even though he doesn't eat hay, I don't think. Brought you girls some fresh hay from the round bale. You ready for it? Hey, Bozy. We'll fill up this for them. And there you have it. Fresh hay for you. Just like that, we're set up and ready to go. We really haven't unpacked the trailer from the show. So now we have to, uh, like this afternoon, go through it, clean it out a bit. I Good morning, guys. Welcome to Thursday. We are headed out today to the barn so that Sophie and Lady can get their ride on. I love every single thing about our trailer, our horse trailer, other than it's old, but I love it. I love that we can get three horses in here easily two there and then one here and we have done it so many times i love that that we can use this extra space here as storage we bring water to every horse show we bring hay to every horse show and obviously we bring our tack i just love this trailer i love that this door can close and then this area can be completely closed off but even more than that i love that this area over here can be a shelter for us we have used it before when shows have been pouring rain and we need it to be dry or if it's been so, or if it's been so super sunny. Being able to sit in this little area, put our chairs up in here and watch out at the show has been a godsend for us. I love it. I love this trailer. I think we're about to get a new one. We're due for a new one anytime now. Um, and when we get one, I think we're probably going to get a similar style. I know that the horses really do so well in this trailer. They, I hate a side slant where they're squished in, but our horses are able to walk up that ramp and then walk out this way. And that means so much. That is so much easier for them. They, it's not like walking into a dark, scary room with all the doors open. It's nice and bright and airy and they can see. And we've had really good luck with this trailer. But there's one thing I hate about it. I find it really hard to lift things above my shoulder. So uh, this thing here, we need it because, ugh, ugh. 
that holds everything back there. It's so heavy. It's so awkward. I hate the thing. So my goal today is to clean out all this stuff and figure out what all this stuff is and where it needs to go. I know Sophie likes to keep her boots in here. But there are so many things that don't need to be in here. So that's my job this morning. I'm going to get all this cleaned out and then I'll show you guys what we have up here and get it to the point that it's not such a big mess. Some of these are clothes of Sophie's old riding shirts that I need to find a new home for. And some of this stuff is Christmas stuff that we take every year to the Santa Claus parade for pets. But I did find a bunch of saddle pads and I think this is the very first hay net that we ever bought because we never we didn't use them before. Our horses both had shoes and we didn't want them to get hurt, so we never used them. And then I forget, we went on a trip or something and we needed them. And so this is the very first one we ever bought. Never used it. I found three long crops that the girls and I wanted to, Sophie's been wanting to use this for so long. We have like four of these and three of them in the trailer and we've been stuck using the broken one all this time but found those. One thing that I love, I love the concept of it but we never used it, was this thing from Tough One. Essentially it's, oh it got all mildewy. Essentially it's this kit that you can hook to a tree so that there's, a, you hook it between two trees so it's there's there. So there's a line on the trees and you can hook your horses to it. And with this, you clip them to this and then they can walk, oops, and then they can walk up and down this line. So if you're ever out someplace, you can make a line between two trees for your horses and keep them safe and they can move around and eat. And I love it in case you get stranded somewhere or, and it's good for three horses, four horses. Wow, that's really cool and it has these straps. But unfortunately, it's a heavy th thing, so it's not like you can carry it with you when you go for a trail ride in the woods. And we never got to use it, and it makes me sad. It's from Tough One, it's called the No Knot Picket Line Kit. Isn't that cool? I'm definitely gonna keep that in the, in the trailer though because it's something that needs to stay with the horses. So we definitely need our chairs in here. We need our bucket in here. And uh, this is all the stuff that I'm gonna get rid of. In fact, I think I'll keep these. These are like, these are the leg wrap things. I forget what they're called for when you take your horse in the trailer. And I'm gonna leave the Christmas stuff in here as well because we're definitely gonna be using that. And this definitely makes me sad seeing Gabby's saddle pads in here from all the times that she rode. And I knew we had another show pad that I was looking for and I knew it was in here so I have that. There's even a crop in here. We don't need that anymore because none of our horses use crops or uh, Lady does not use spurs or crops. So now I just have to figure out where to put all this, all this stuff. And miraculously I found a pair of bell boots that will work. Whenever you find bell boots you know it's a lucky day. Well hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, so these are all the crops and the things that I found. Oh, hello, I think Lady must be in heat because her and Storm are super lovey-dovey. All right, finally, I like to keep all that stuff in this one spot, but we don't even use that stuff anymore. What's going on over here, Ladybug? Hi, Gracie, I can just barely see your little ears. What's happening? Hey. How come you're cozying all up to Stormy Boy? You're gonna go riding tonight? All right, I'm just gonna put all this stuff away and then I will be done with the trailer. What's wrong? What's wrong, boys? What's wrong with you guys? Why don't you ever come and see me? Why don't you jump the fence and come and visit me anymore? Hey, I miss you guys. He's looking at the dogs. He's like, oh, I will protect everybody. He's looking pretty big. Aw, I miss you. I do. I miss you so much. Yeah. My girl. You still love me? Yeah. He's like, I still love you. Why don't you ever come and visit me anymore? Hey? Eh? Look at how fluffy you are. Why do I feel like you're about to jump on me? Eh? <laughs> the turkeys are so sneaky. So sneaky, like she just slides around behind me. 
What's the matter, hey? I love you too. Yeah, I knew that. You love me that much? You want to eat my shirt? It's just a shirt. It's just a shirt. It's a button. It's just a button. Don't eat my button. Oh my gosh. Now I'm being ganged up on. Oh my gosh. Give me a break. It's just a button. <laughs> Don't eat it. Oh no. Maybe it's a good thing that they don't come and visit me anymore because they're getting a little on the rough side. You're getting a little on the rough side. <laughs> I still love them though. I still love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't love you that much. <laughs> How did you get in here? Get out. Sit. Ellie. I don't like to let Ellie in with the chickens because she'll sit, sit right here between my legs and <coughs> she will let nobody near me. <laughs> I also I also love the guineas. Ellie. You're my sweet girl. Yeah, I love you. She's like, yeah, I'll just eat your buttons. <coughs> it's okay. You're okay. I love you. Now the turk now the rooster's getting in on it. That rooster just bit me. I could see how if I died right here in this field, or at least if I passed out in this field, these turkeys and chickens would just eat me alive. I'm getting out of here. Bye. Sadly for Posey. She was locked down here all day, couldn't get out, which is what I want. Like, I want her to stay down here now that it's about to get cold. Hopefully it gets cold. <laughs> she loves to just run free and be free on the farm and go her own way, own, and go her own way. She has lots of room down here to run. She's got, like, two huge fields that she can roam in and root her food in. But she likes to go past the, she likes to go up into the farmyard, into the horse's barn. So it's sad, but unfortunately I need her to be able to be safe in the winter. All right. You ready, Posey Pig? Uh-oh. Now that it's time to drive in for our riding lessons, we're going to start putting the goats in earlier on those days because we don't get back until after dark and I hate doing chores after dark. And they're excited to come in. Right? You're excited? So, Sophie hasn't jumped all summer. And <clears throat> she did cross rails, obviously. But she hasn't done a lot of cross rails because she's trying to build Lady up slowly over time before she jump, like truly jumps her. Sophie's so crazy. So, <coughs> so we're going back to lessons. And Brandon doesn't really know like that what she's been doing and and she doesn't know if like she's been jumping or not been jumping and lady's never really been jumping and then so she said like don't tell brandon i she's like i want to jump today and i said yeah you need to practice cross wit cross rails for the show and she said no like let's not tell brandon i want to do cross rails let's just let him tell me what to do and i'll do whatever he says because she thinks that he'll let her do bigger he doesn't know what she's been doing i'll just say yeah i've been jumping like <laughs> eight foot yeah. oh so she wants me to, like not to tell brandon to keep it low and see if he'll just let her jump higher and i'm like you used to always be so scared and she feels yeah i got bored of that if it doesn't kill you it just makes you stronger let's just go for it yeah if if if, if it doesn't kill you what's the fun in it she says <laughs> how the heck are we getting out of here with all these chickens so I don't want her like jumping before the show. Nothing higher than like a cross rail because that's what she's going to be doing at the show. Watching this turkey, he's going to try and chase me. Not this turkey, this rooster. <laughs> Feel him chasing me, man. Anyways, it just was funny that Sophie like, she grew to an age where she's like, I'm tired of being scared. So she just said she decided to stop it. But it's developmental. Everybody does things on their own and reaches milestones in their own way, at their own time. All right. You need to come with me. Get out. This is not for you. All of you out. Get out. Get out. 
Get out. And she's in and we're ready to go. What's gonna happen, all I know is that one of the funnest things ever is- Oh, Deeks, you put my boots in a different spot. Is that one of the funnest things ever is when you get to take your horse for the first time and like try and push her a little and see how high she can jump. She, she's never really jumped. <coughs> She's never done anything more than a cross rail, so we're about to see, maybe. We're gonna see, if we're gonna see. And don't forget to say happy birthday to Sam. He's 39 again, you guys. Wait, what? 39. 39. He's like 56. He's not 56. Even well, I'm not, not 56. 39. I'm younger than your mom. I thought you were like, like I thought you were 56 too. 10 months. <coughs> 54. And now your dad is 54 too. Don't you know that you're beautiful?